Hello everybody, this is Math with Josh. A uh, little puzzle video today. Uh, this is the Jumping Frog puzzle. It's kind of a classic. Um, I'm certainly not the first person to record this one, but I like the problem. I thought we'd talk about it. So, as you see, we have a badly drawn frog on a badly drawn wall. Uh, suppose we have a frog that is climbing a 21 foot tall wall. Every time the frog jumps, it goes up the wall three feet, then slides one foot back down the wall. Oops. How many jumps will it take the frog to get over the wall? And now we're going to assume that if the frog, you know, ends up on top of the wall, that, that counts as getting over, just for the sake of simplicity. So I'm going to pause, and you can try and solve this. Okay, so if you're still with me, um, the most common guess people make is they look at the problem, they realize that the idea is the frog makes it up a net of two feet per jump, as it were. And they say, okay, well, it's it's 21 foot wall. The frog's going in clips of two feet at a time. Might do this in your head, by the way. So it's going to take, you know, 10 remainder one or 11. Take 10 remainder one jumps, but that translates into having to round up to 11. So you might think it'll take 11 jumps, because 11 times 2 is 22, uh, 10 times 2 is only 20, so the 11th jump gets it over the wall. And you would be wrong. And the trick, the thing to catch, is that the frog jumps up the wall, then slides down. So let's just say um, after, so after the first eight jumps so after the first eight jumps the frog will be 16 feet up the wall okay so that's um that's eight after the next jump nine the frog will be at 18 on the wall And this is the little detail. This tenth jump will get the frog over the top. And therefore, it only takes ten jumps to get over the wall. So that's the solution of the problem. That because the jumping motion, as described, is a two-step process, you have to pay attention to how the order of the steps matters. If the process were that the frog, when it goes to jump, slides one foot back, then leaps three feet forward, you would get, I believe, 11, but you, it definitely could be a different answer. So uh, thanks for watching. This is an old classic problem I just wanted to do today. I think it's a nice little riddle to give uh, kids, especially once they've learned division, because they'll realize how to do the problem and then realized there was a little bit of a wrinkle that required some focused thinking. Thanks for watching, everyone. Once again, this is Math with Josh, and have a nice day.